I bet you guys thought that children's and spotted pythons were done for the year because we haven't had a clutch in over two months. Well, guess what? We got a surprise clutch. Yes, I thought that the season was over as well, but we found this girl this morning wrapped around a beautiful clutch of eggs. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Of course, this is a little Antracy, a children's eye, little dwarf python from Australia. And like you can see, she's a full grown adult here because she's got a clutch of eggs and they really don't get much bigger than this. I mean, they can get a little bit bigger, obviously, but for the the most part that's as big as they get absolutely wonderful snakes super excited that we got another clutch of eggs we've already hatched a bunch of babies which is pretty cool and they do really well they're really a great pet snake so if you guys are interested in a small python that doesn't get very large certainly children spotted are a great option so we've got two four six eight ten beautiful eggs laid by this girl what an absolute amazing surprise it's always great to get clutches of eggs but it's even better to get clutches of eggs when you aren't expecting it and good morning reptile army welcome to the vlog i hope the starter day is incredible by the way if you don't mind go to reptilearmy.com join the army the money goes to education us arc stuff like that so please go to reptilearmy.com it would certainly make me happy i'm happy that ivy is actually shed out so i can actually get her out and spend a little time but she loves her enclosure so much look at her she's already climbing up like she wants to go back home uh, I spent a few minutes with her out just kind of messing around we actually had a tour in the house so they got a chance to, to play with Ivy it was a birthday party so it was really cool she might be the only anaconda that puts herself away every single time right I mean how cool is that I mean she's just out climbing around and she's just like dad I'm ready to go home you know what I mean so she is definitely she is such a beautiful girl you're so beautiful Ivy I love you now she's over a hundred pounds and just absolutely wonderful she's cruising around Aries is actually up in his tree over here which is kind of funny but uh again i love the fact that i don't have to wrestle her like i do with lucy and she just literally puts herself back home and i love the fact that she must love her home so much that even being out crawling around she really prefers to go back home and kind of have her own thing so it's absolutely wonderful what an absolutely cool steak and i love the fact that i got to spend some time with my therapy animal ivy there's no doubt about that i'm brimming on the inside it's time for feeding. This is obviously grit. See, he's very, very new here. He's already starting to take food off tongs, so I have a feeling in no time, and within at least a couple weeks, he's gonna be really, really on, on the ball. Here we go, there's some interest. There we go, ball, food, good. Did we get to, maybe, maybe. All right, let's try it again, show it. Oh, yours, man, you took that one. I should have brought it back a little quicker. Try it again. You guys know that I love getting new animals. Well, a buddy of mine was actually had some animals that he was kind of downsizing, just moving out of the reptile thing. And he asked me if I was interested. And this is a guy I've known for a long time, really good friend of mine, probably about 25 years. So I said, of course I would like them. Some of these animals will be going into the reptarium. Other animals will definitely be going to PHP. I mean, but take a look at this one right here. Ooh, it's a sweat. Ooh, it's a little monkey, that's for darn sure. This is what they would call a bamboo rat snake or a porphyracea coxi. That thing is absolutely ridiculous. Take a look at that. I mean, this is a cool Southeast Asian animal that don't get much larger than this. And when they tame out, they can be really, really docile. So if we can get this guy to mellow out, not be such a feisty little monkey, we could actually put this at the reptarium because that's a beautiful display snake. It'd be a really cool snake to come out. So again, some of these things will probably go into our breeding colony other ones will absolutely be displayed so my hopes are this will eventually be a display animal that we can have at the reptarium because it's absolutely incredible but again it's going to need a little bit of handling that is no doubt about that the handle definitely a little wiggler that's for sure let's go ahead and see what's next oh gosh look at how beautiful that snake is of course this is the albino honduran milk snake there's actually a pair of them and these are what they would call albino tricolor honduran milk snakes the normal ones are a little bit more common the tricolor are a little less common and this is a beauty right here and this is the female this will probably get bred at bhp to be completely honest with you and then its counterpart the boy now i could see this one actually coming over to the reptarium because it's absolutely gorgeous 
Usually these guys, as they get bigger, are super, super docile. So we'll handle this for the next couple weeks. Make sure that it's cool. He said that it's never bit him, so I think that it's going to be completely fine. But look at that. And of course, we brought the very first albino hunter and milk snakes ever into the country from a friend of mine over in Stuttgart, Germany named Stefan Broghammer from MS Reptilian. And that really changed a lot of things when it came to BHB. I mean, we that was our first major animal that we pioneered at BHB way back in the early 90s. So the albino hunter and milk snakes always have a super soft spot in my heart. And this is an absolutely gorgeous animal. This has to come over to the Reptarium because look at how gorgeous that is. Not only is it a beautiful snake, but it's also super calm. People will love to handle this one. Continuing to move on. Oh yeah, come on now. This is definitely an animal that we want to bring over to the Reptarium as well. A Mexican black king snake. Now we have a big group of Mexican black kings at BHB, but we just have one little baby called Midnight that we have here. And they are super good to handle. Really docile and stuff like that. And absolutely gorgeous. For a while we actually had an adult Mexican black king snake at the Reptarium. And then we ended up moving it off just because we put it back into the breeding colony. But I think this one will be perfect size for especially kids that don't want to handle something big. And just look at how gorgeous that snake is. So this is another great addition. So as you can see, we're adding some pretty cool additions to the Reptarium with this collection. That's for sure. So I'm just so happy that my friend reached out to me and was willing to entrust me with his animals that he loves so much. This is an absolute gorgeous one. Moving on to this here, which is actually a super special animal because you hardly ever see these. This is actually, ooh, it's, ooh, it's an albino calico beauty snake. Remember Jimmy the feisty monkey? Well this one seems to be a little feisty too. Not sure that we're going to be putting this at the Reptarium until it calms down a little bit. But the fact is this is a double recessive. So the calico beauty snakes were actually produced by a guy named Larry Keller at Prairie Land Herb about 10 or 12 years ago. And they weren't very common back then. And then the albinos were also produced by a handful of guys way back 15 years ago. And this was actually an albino that was bred to a calico. And then you'd produce double heterozygous. You'd have to raise those up and you'd get 1 in 16 odds to produce the albino calicos. I tell you what, I haven't seen an albino calico beauty snake in probably seven or eight years. So this is definitely a special animal, but probably not quite ready for the Reptarium, but maybe with some handling it will be. And then lastly, I love this. We actually have an albino Kunisur Island rat snake at the Reptarium. This is the normal color wild type Kunisur Island rat snake. And I've often said in all honesty that I like the normal ones better than the albinos when it comes to the color, because just look at that greenish color. And so some of these guys can actually get blue, believe it or not. It's almost like an axanthic form. So if you reduce the yellow pigment in this, it actually turns like a turquoise blue. You can see a little bit of it in its neck right here. And I've had some that have been predominantly blue. That absolutely are incredible. So this is a girl. And of course, the albino we have is a boy. This is also a head for albino. So we can not only put these at the Reptarium because they're really great animals to handle, but we can also breed them and produce some more normals and albino kunis or islands. These guys come from Japan and are absolutely ridiculous. So there it is guys. Always love adding new animals, partly to the Reptarium and partly to BHB, but I am so excited about them. Baby steps when it comes to the expansion, you know, we're slowly, slowly getting there. It's going to be probably several months before we actually get there. It may be four or five months before we even start because of permits and planning and stuff like that. But I want to continue to take you guys on the journey as much as I possibly can. This area will change a tremendous amount. This of course is the gift shop. Lori loves this gift shop. Now remember this wall here is going to actually be extended out almost 15 feet. So there's going to be 15 more foot of this area. And my idea is here actually now is to keep this the same. Keep baby Kush here, keep this rack here. But right on this level here, I'll come out here all the way to probably where this wall is right here. Again, this wall won't even be there, but uh, you know, still I'm just saying right out to about this wall. And I'll go all that extra 15 feet. And these will be two huge alligator ponds for salt and pepper and for RJ. So for those of you that said put salt upstairs or put pepper downstairs, I had said I might want to do that. Actually, I've decided now that if I can go this way, I can fit salt and pepper and RJ down here. So right here, this entire area will be giant alligator enclosures that can fit RJ and salt and pepper for the rest of their lives. They can actually stay right here. So I, uh, again, I'm visualizing in my head. I think it's going to be amazing. My thoughts are somewhere in the middle, there'll probably be land with a door and I can actually open that door, have them come up and station at that door. And then people can come in and throw food into their mouth and stuff like that. So I think that, uh, it's, I think, you know, listen, it's slowly coming together, guys. There's still a lot to do. We have a long way to go. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight, but the plans are starting to work out and uh, every day we get closer and closer and I cannot wait for this to happen and bring you guys along on the journey. Hi buddy. Oh wait, maybe you are the female. I don't know. Whoa, nope, you're the male. Can I see your tail? Come here. Let's be friends. 
No. Woo! God, they're so quick when they want to be. Ow. Ow, his nails. Ow. Got him. His nails go into my cuticle. Ow. 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 Son of a biscuit. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. He He's still peeing. I don't smell anything. <laughs> my nose is blind to salt and vinegar chips. These are our monkey tail skinks or Solomon Island skinks. And uh, they're generally very slow moving animals unless they want to do something. I believe this is the male. I don't know where the female is, but he's very protective of her as well. So when we try to go in the cage and clean or get food bowls or something like that, uh, he's generally the first one to come find out what we're doing. And like Mr. Brian keeps saying, well, hopefully we get some babies from these guys. They only produce like one a year and we still haven't had a baby yet. So hopefully sooner than later. Remember that clutch we caught the other day that was actually an Enchi Pastavi head clown bred to a banana clown? Well, they are hatched and they look like some beautiful babies. Let's take a look. Just starting with these guys here, believe it or not, these are just banana head clowns. So we kind of missed the odds on a lot of that stuff because we didn't have Enchi, we didn't have Pastavi, we didn't have any of the other stuff. We didn't even have clown, but that's all right. These are our banana hat clowns, which are really amazing. And then we have this beauty here. I love this combination. This is actually an Enchi clown ball python. Just look at the head pattern is amazing. That striping on its body is amazing. Enchi and clown go together so well. I love it. So I'm glad that we did hatch that. And the fact that it's not banana, it's actually kind of cool too that we had the one normal clown ball python. Of course, Enchi clown ball python. Then we ended up hatching this. And I think it's absolutely staggeringly beautiful. This is actually a banana Enchi mojave that is het for clown ball python. And just look at the orange and that blushing coming through. This might be my favorite animal in the clutch. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not a clown. I wish it was a clown, but hey, I tell you what, that thing is an absolute ripper. And then finally, we did have the banana pastel Mojave clown ball python here. But unfortunately, we missed on the Enchi, and the Enchi is what would have made that orange flaming like that other animal, but it's still cool. I mean, still a banana pastel Mojave clown is an awesome animal. So all in all, we hit some pretty darn cool animals in this clutch, and I was pretty excited that they're hatched out. Well, we started the day with a clutch of children's python, and we're actually gonna kinda end the day with a beautiful clutch of ball python. This is an Enchi female, and she can't even coil around the eggs. She's got so many eggs, and she was bred to one of my favorite males of the year. And that's this pastel stinger bee orange dream fire. Think about that. Pastel, orange dream, spider, enchi, and fire. There's a lot of genes in here, and breeding it to an enchi means we can get a bunch of super enchi stuff. Combination is going to be absolutely amazing. So, down in the comments, you know how this game works. Let me know what combos I can get. I think this male's a little upset, right? Hey, Daddy, you just had some eggs. Chill out, all right? Let's go see how many eggs Mama has. And it's normally the Mama's taking pops at me, but today, Daddy's on, on the prowl. That's good. And it seems like Mom's pretty good. And look at how many eggs this is. Again, the combos are amazing. So down in the comment section, definitely let me know what you think we're going to produce. It could be some pretty cool babies. I cannot wait to cut this clutch. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be cutting this clutch on the vlog, there's no doubt about it, because it's gonna be absolutely wonderful. And the other clutches that we don't cut on the vlog, we'll definitely be cutting over on Patreon. Again, we're trying not to overload you guys with taking eggs away, as well as we're trying not to overload you guys with cutting eggs every single day either. But we will be cutting every single clutch, just some will be over on Patreon, just like we're pulling some eggs on Patreon as well. Uh, you know, So I appreciate you guys support me, link in the description, you know how that goes. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten beautiful, big, gorgeous eggs. Oh, doggy, I tell you what, 57 days now, it can't come quick enough. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did do me a favor, hit this playlist right here, one or two videos, I would appreciate it. I'd also appreciate it if right over here, you hit the subscription button, it would mean a lot to me. You have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.